Hey everyone, this evening we are going to be using a brand new to the den artisan, and that is Noble Otter. This is the night before, which comes in this beautiful Porsche. Look at that. Wonderful little pour. Reminds me of kind of like a Barrister Man, A&E's, and Gari, just nice and clean. Uh, from what I can tell, it's a pretty dang soft soap. Obviously, haven't lathered this up yet. Uh, the scent on this is extremely nice. I definitely get the vanilla on here. Mm, a little bit of the amber, a little bit of the fur. So the, the scent notes, one thing I like about the Old Noble Otter, scent notes are right there. Because of my lighting, you can't read it. But it's uh, pink peppercorn, balsam fir, mistletoe, rosemary, amber, sandalwood, vanilla, frankincense, and myrrh. And it smells fantastic. At least from what I can tell. I am pretty being stuffed up due to seasonal allergies. Um, but I do like this scent. So I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna ladder this up, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Now one thing I noticed afterwards is the label stuff down here, kind of glittery. Not really big enough here maybe, but really cool. Noble Otter has some really cool uh, artwork from what, I, from what I've seen. Now this, as I mentioned, is a really soft, soft soap. Uh, almost borderline cream, I would say. At least when it was scooped out, it was very, very soft. But it whipped up super fast and super easy. And I might be able to actually, and it's peaky. Let's see, that has some good peaks. Might be able to take a little bit more water. But we're gonna go with that because I'm not using a straight or a chivette tonight. I decided to go with kind of the green Red and green theme going with the Reserock Hawk. V2 with a second use, first use. Cap Kai Captain Pink. The brush is my Smiles for Miles uh, knot tester that he graciously sent. Now, the reason, part of the reason I'm using this is one, it's red and it matches the uh, container very well. But also, uh, Smiles, or Roger, very recently lost his father. Um, Smiles was his dad's caretaker, and he uh, is now kind of on the hook for all of the funeral expenses and everything. Uh, so a GoFundMe has been created to assist with, uh, with those costs. Uh, if you don't know Roger or Smiles for Miles, he's an absolutely fantastic person. Uh, I've spoken to him a few times. I am a big fan of his brushes, his work. Uh, I have four of his brushes, I think. Something like that. Really good guy. We talk occasionally. And not just when I'm getting brushes from or anything. He's just a really good guy, really down to earth. And uh, he's now, he used to do with the passing of his father. As mentioned, he was the sole caretaker. And now also the expenses for the funeral. So a couple of people in the community have created a GoFundMe to assist with those costs. There will be a link below to the GoFundMe page. If you are able and so inclined to donate, that'd be very greatly appreciated. If not, definitely understandable. But one thing I love about this community is we all, everyone tends to help out each other in times of need. It's just doing very well. And this is a Kai Captain Pink blade. The first time I used this after I bought my own, I did borrow one from Charles uh, a while back, is I used a fairly old, fairly high use Kai blade. And it just felt very mild. Like it, it would cut, but it just felt like um, it wasn't quite as efficient. And with this being a newer blade, 
like first or second use, I honestly can't remember. It still feels like a very mild razor, but I can definitely tell that it's cutting, which is really nice. And now I'm using the Kai Captain Pink blade, which is a mild blade. It's slightly shorter than other AC blades, like the Kai Pro and the Feather and, you know, the standard and whatnot blades. Um, so I'm not getting a lot of blade feel, but it's not bad. Uh, I am am actually quite enjoying this, even though I tend to prefer blade feel. If you like, if you like this razor with the AC, but you want less blade feel, Kai Captain Pink is a good way to go. Or the equivalent in the feather. I haven't tried that though. But it does have a decent amount of feedback. So that's nice and it is definitely cutting. Really easy to find the hair, the angle. If you have the Razor Rock Eco or Echo, they are very similarly shaped. Which is Great, because I also I like the Eco also. But I haven't used mine for a while. Used it a lot when I was traveling. Now as far as the soap, as I mentioned, it whipped up very, very quickly. Because it is really soft, it does not take a lot of water. So it felt really easy to dial in. And it's kind of a low density lather. But that could also be due to the knot style that I am using, because it's the knot in that brush has a significant amount of backbone. As you notice, I am not splaying this at all because it is just very stiff. I went back to the to the uh, bowl there, though I don't need to. Plenty of lather left in the knot. So this is, as I mentioned, it's a very stiff brush. Paints exceptionally well. And there's tons of lather in here. It doesn't look like it. It looks kind of sparse. But trust me, there's plenty of lather in there. And it, the knot will splay. It just takes a little bit of effort. And it's not just, and you can see here, I'm pushing pretty good. So it does splay. This can take a little bit more water. But I'm gonna get brush burn and I don't really need to spray the brush. So we're gonna go with that for my third and final pass. As I mentioned, I'm really stuffed up, so I'm having a hard time getting a true sense of the scent. But it is very enjoyable. I've heard some noble, noble, uh, noble otter scents can be quite polarizing. This one is, to me at least, very, very nice. I quite enjoy it. And even though it is very obviously a Christmas holiday scent, I will probably use this a little bit throughout the year. Although not as much as I would some others. But I might use it like in July. You know, Christmas in July, that kind of thing. It is a very nice scent. And the soap is working very well. Like I said, this is my very first Noble Otter soap. I don't know if they're normally this soft and easy to work with. But I did get a care package in that has a Noble Otter firefighter sample in there. Now, of course, I know samples are slightly different because they might have dried out in transit, whatnot, but you're giving an idea if it's still the same as easy to work with. So 
So I look forward to using that as well. However, I will say that I've been very impressed with this soap. I will have to get some more Noble Otter in the future and see if it behaves as well as this. This has been very enjoyable. The residual slickness on this is fantastic. Still plain slick on my face. As you can see here, that's always a trouble spot. Did that without any problem. Fantastic shave. No, I don't have the uh, matching splash. Um, now, if you're interested in the soap, it is still available from the razor company. Uh, I haven't looked at, you know, the other places like Maggard's and West Coast and, and those kind of places that also carry Noble Otter. Excuse the uh, running water there. But uh, when I checked today, slightly before recording, it is in stock at the Razor Company with the Splash. The splash is also available still. There will be links below. Uh, the Razor Rock Hawk in the Hulk color, that nice awesome green. I got mine from Razor Company as well. I don't know if it was just in, available at um, Italian Barber, but I was doing some shopping on Razor Company site and uh, saw this and been wanting one for years, or at least a year since I borrowed Charles's. And I've wanted the green. And every time I've been on Razor Rock's site or Italian Barber, I've looked and the green's never been in stock when I was able to get one. So Razor Company had it, it was in green, it was in stock, I bought one. Glad I did, because it's a fantastic razor. I like the AC blades, and this just, I love the green. This is a great looking razor. Works really, really well too. So everything that I used, with the exception of course of the Smells from Miles brush, is available at the Razor Company. Links below. Uh, also available at oh, the Hawk you can get from Italian Barber. Uh, plenty of places to get the bowl as well. Uh, the Captain's Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. And Noble Otter. There'll be links to uh, Maggers and West Coast Shading if it's in stock there as well. Finishing off with some Witch Hazels. Witch Hazel. Not which hazels, what the heck was that? Oh, looks like I could have gone a little bit more right here. Now, true test. Ah, I almost got the wrong razor. I normally don't do this after I put on the witch hazel, but there was just some stubble hair that I had to get rid of that was bugging me. Because apparently as an idiot missed it this the first time. Oh well. So Finish off with the Witch Hazel, and I'll go with the PAA Star Jelly, which, oddly enough, is not available at the Razor Company. It's available at PAA site, right below. The blade, as I mentioned, Kai Captain Pink. It's the only AC blade I currently have. I have two packs of those. It's a nice mild blade. If you're first getting into AC style razors, uh, it's a definitely a good choice or one of the pro, like, pro guards. Um, I know Kai has a guarded blade as does Feather. If you're using them in a Chevette, the guarded blades make it a little harder to cut oneself, though not impossible. Uh, if you're using the Hawk, you can use the guarded blades um, on the information for this razor says the feather professional will make this very aggressive and there's one feather blade that does not work in here and i don't recall what that is but anyway this video's been on long enough uh so thank you for tuning in again noble otter the night before 
wonderful scent. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed using it and got mine from the razor company. Uh, thank you, Jason. And again, there is a GoFundMe fundraiser for Smiles for Miles for the uh, funeral costs for his father. Uh, link below as well. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you all next time.